Welcome to the Dabbled In. You all are in for a good one today. We got a ton of exclusives to cover as we're going into con- virtual con season and all the vendors are still on that con schedule. We're excited to introduce a really good friend of ours. He's one of our Comic Con friends and also the owner of Legendary Displays. We have Dean Rashkow in the den with us. Hey guys, thank you for having me on tonight. I'm really excited to get to talk. Oh, Dean, good to have you. If doesn't want to talk about this stuff, I get to talk to somebody about it. <laughs> and, you know, I think Tori undersold you a little bit. You're also part of our graphic when at our intro on the Dabble Den. So, oh wow, that's his that's his collection right there. So, so I get like so when people ask me for autographs, I'll know why. Exactly. <laughs> No, you've been You're probably, from day one. You have yeah, been you've dabbled, the, probably more famous than the three of us combined. So wow. the first thing people see is the dabble den in you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. I, 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 I've always wanted to be famous, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah. well, Dean, since today we're talking exclusives, why don't you tell everybody like what your big fandom is? Um, my big fandom is I, I collect two things. I collect uh, hot toys. I love Hot Toys for Marvel. I'm a big Marvel fan. I also like DC um, and action films, but I'm I'm really into the uh, Hot Toys and one four scale um, statues. So I I just think they're so cool and they really come through with uh, they represent the actors and and the action scenes really well in how much they that, that goes into the sculpting in these. It's so realistic. So nice. that's what I've been uh, working on now. Awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and kick it off with our first segment. Fig pins. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and segue first off for a little bit, going a little tangent. If you guys haven't checked out, uh, I was inspired last week when uh, our special guest came on uh, to go ahead and highlight a lot of artists. So I've been reaching out to a lot of artists on Instagram uh, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you guys are, I'm I, I'm I'm reaching out to you guys. So uh, on our on all of our social media, we've been spotlighting two, three artists uh, every day uh, with the hashtag Den Spotlight. So if you want to catch up on everybody there, we're gonna go ahead and post some of those things later in, in different shows. But Den Spotlight, support your artists. Um, they they can't go to the conventions, but they're still trying to go make money and producing lots of great pieces of art. Awesome. Um, but on to the fig pins. So I got a couple of things. Uh, I had the Hello Kitties. I can't find them. They were the orange ones from Pins on Fire. They were amazing. You could see them on the social media. I went in and took pictures of all my Hello Kitties. But I do have Cannon Busters today. So if you don't know Cannon Busters, they uh, it's an anime on Netflix. So they fig pin produced some pretty great Cannon Buster fig pins. So I have Sam, Philly the Kid. Like they're 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 pretty good. Philly the Kid is pretty cool. If you've never seen the show, I will spoil it for you because it tells you right away what it is. He dies virtually every single episode and has to come back to life. He's immortal. Hmm. That's it. That's what I got. I can't find my Hello Kitties. They're they're, they're gone. They're running amok. <laughs> well, you've done Hello Kitties two two times in a row. I think everybody gets the gist. You like Hello Kitty thick fans. These were beautiful Just a little orange. Bit. Just a little bit. Florida made freshly squeezed Hello Kitties. But yeah, we'll, we'll take a pass on this one this time. No worries. All right, guys, like I mentioned at the top, there's like, we're in con season. There's a ton of exclusives. So we're going to transition into two new exclusives and beyond. I'll hand it right back to Danny to kick us off. All right. One of my favorite things to, uh, at San Diego Comic Con or any convention that does have them is the Tamashi Nations. I love Tamashi Nations. I love Bluefin. Wow. I love Bandai. And we have a whole bunch. Bandai is bring the uh, premium Bandai is bringing us a couple things that are going to be uh, pre-ordered on July 16th. And it'll go through, I th- believe it's July 30th. So you have that 15-day window to be able to go ahead and pick up your uh, exclusive. So we have Broly. We have Vegito. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sun Goku, Ultra Ultra Instinct Goku. We have the Android 17, 18. And I'm actually more excited about these Tamashi stages. Uh, I'm not really someone that likes these stands, but they have every single Dragon Ball. They're a piece of, there's seven different Dragon Ball 
stands, they're, they're great. So the great thing about the Tamashi Nations ones, they're not new figures. They're, they have different colors, uh, different, different exclusive colors that they go ahead and produce and what's great is if you've missed out on the original releases some of these are pretty pricey so it's a good chance to get an exclusive as well as the opportunity to get like an android 17 and 18. now this one doesn't glow but it looks like it could so it's the <laughs> tamashi nations godzilla so this thing is amazing it has a blue it's just bright blue I collect some Godzilla things because we do we do love Godzilla in our household. I might I might pick this up. I I like I like the more traditional look, but what is the traditional look? Gray, green? We don't know. I think it's going to be blue from here on out. Right. And I mean like this would definitely stand out in the Godzilla collection no matter where you put it within that. For sure. So Factory Entertainment is go coming out with a whole bunch of things. They they've got a Wonder Woman flying disc. They have a Star Trek bottle opener. They have the Beatles yellow submarine statue. They have the president presidential horrors pin collection, and I love pins. I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, you know, you have what is it, Biden, 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 and what is it, the, the Walking Dawn pin? These are great. You have a Monty Python um, Black Knight motivational statue, and the Jaws Bruce the Shark plush. These are great. I mean, they're. <laughs> They're not for everybody, but I think there's a lot of great humor in a lot of these pieces. Yeah, and then great. like we said before, this is your chance. These would have been at Comic-Con and the only chance to get them. And since there's no con, everybody's got the advantage to grab them, you know, or you would have been running around the exhibit floor trying to grab these. So Yeah, and a lot of these exclusives, there aren't there really aren't designed for the mass public. I, I feel like I feel like if you're a fan of one certain thing. Uh, they're they're really going to call to you, and I think that's why it, the beauty of these exclusives. Because if you're a true fanatic of some of these things, they're catering to you. It's not for everybody, so not everybody feels like they're missing out on the highlight marquee item or guy all the time. Dan, what you got for us? So as you guys know, how much I love Funkos. So obviously, I got Funkos for you. Uh, S to C uh, exclusives released the Funkos that we're going to be doing here, and I mean, kind of going through the enormous amount of focus that we have here we have ninja turtles we have pokemon my hero sonic is in there and the sonic ones look amazing uh just so many great focus here to be picked up uh, every year sdcc gets a pretty good exclusive so um some of these are specifically from the funko shop amazon hot topic all the places you can normally see your funko uh, exclusives go through danny i think i see your boy bakudo on there yeah, All right. Bakugo looks dope. If you guys are a fan Danny of doesn't do, Danny, Danny doesn't do uh, Funko, so I mean, <laughs> we won't be able to do it, right? Yeah, so we, <laughs> if you go on our social, you probably won't ever see a Funko, and that's my fault because I'm just mad about not getting what I want at Comic Con sometimes. <laughs> Funko, I love you. Don't, don't, don't hate me. Or just give us a lottery ticket for next con, and then Danny yeah. will yeah. and then Danny won't hate you, but he'll post for you. So there's the there's what it is. Yeah, I miss lining up and being able to actually get into their their, their line. We're <laughs> Danny's con. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lottery loser. That's all it is. I'm sorry. I'm just hurt. Yeah. But the other thing I got, you know, I got some cool little action figures that come from Beast Kingdom, right? Uh, you know, we got Bro Thor, also known as Fat Thor, uh, who everybody turned out and loved uh, from the end game um I, I love this you know he's got several different accessories that come with him, the, the sandwich the pizza a, a, just a great image of what fat thor used to be very good uh, popping of the eyes too to be able to really show that there and then the hulk buster here uh i absolutely love the hulk busters that came out in the movies uh i think they did it really well and i think all the stuff we've seen come out because of the movies this is another great action figure that just really pops i love the color scheme of it it's just amazing on that too, we also have a you know Peter Parker Spider Man with some of his accessories, right? Uh, not only with his camera, but he's got one where his mask is coming up a little bit. You can kind of say, "Oh, is he going to show it off?" Uh, but then we also have uh, Tony Stark from the Infinity War uh, movie, uh, where he's got his nano suit. He's about to you know, he's about to throw down, and again, good quality stuff. I really enjoy seeing it. And it's not your typical action figures; uh, a little bit more cartoonish, and I really enjoy what those look like. Yeah. So. Uh... Dean, you mentioned at the top of the show you're a Hot Toys collector, so I'll kick it off to you now. Okay. Um, I really love every year that they come out with these exclusives. 
at uh, Comic Con, and you can pre-order them. They usually have uh, actually quite a large number of them, so a lot of people can get them. And this year they've came, they've come out with some really neat stuff. They've come out with Stan Lee. I love that Stan Lee from the scene in Thor Ragnarok, where he's going to cut Thor's hair. <laughs> uh, I think one of the funnier scenes in it, and there are so many in that movie, but, and uh, the likeness on the whiplash, I think that was Iron Man 2, is, the, like I said, the sculpting in these faces and the accessories is amazing. So they really wanted, I think, to highlight um, Iron Man 2 because they came out with that one, and then they also came out with the holographic um, Iron Man from Iron Man, I think that one's from, yeah, Iron Man 2. And that just looks amazing how it, it lights up. Most of the Iron Man that they produce, the eyes will light up, the chest piece lights up, the hands, depending on the armor, um, other areas will light up too. And it really gives it some great effects. I, I mean, these are, these are really cool pieces. And I know uh, they get a little pricey, so they also offer payment plans for them. And uh, one of the more popular characters, too, I think it's really cool, uh, Spider-Man, uh, since they uh, signed the deal with Marvel, I know is more popular than ever. So now they've come out with uh, the future Spider-Man, and it's, the detail on that looks insane. Yeah, I love the 2099 Spider-Man. Yeah, um, it is just really cool. And I think you'll probably be seeing a line of a lot more stuff like they also came out with um, from Into the Spider-Verse. So you'll be seeing a lot more Spider-Man stuff. It's just really amazing the detail that goes into these things. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Twenty The 20, 2099 Spider-Man, he's getting a lot more stuff coming out of yeah. him lately. And I, I, I don't know if I've mention it here i love that costume i love his new the newer version of what his white costume yeah 99 spider-man is amazing and i'm glad that they're finally giving him the love and attention that he deserves yeah and hopefully we'll get some more cool uh just you know video content that comes out from that and, and really just get you know again another broader spider-man base than just you know the same spider-man story over I said these usually run between Iron Man's, depending if it's it's metal or they're using a, a plastic. Um, they usually run between like 250 and 350 for an Iron Man. They're one of the heavier pieces, and the other pieces will probably run between 220 and 250. So um, Iron Man's are always one of the more expensive pieces. They have a lot more moving parts, a lot more that goes into them. Nice. Well, the next one you got, Dean, we were all excited about. Oh, you have no idea. Uh, the oh, the, uh, the the Joker is just really crazy. Again, the detail, if you look at this and the accessories that come with these things, there's so much detail in the, in the Joker. Um, he's one of the most popular hot toys there are. You know, they've come out with so many versions of him from the movie in different outfits and people just can't get enough of them. So they come with tons and tons of accessories he's got the bag he's going to have a different mask and the clothes they use it's not like a the other thing about hot toys is it's not like a spandex or like you got with those old meat with the Mego dolls or the other ones they're usually like uh suit cloth so to make this more realistic they're they're actual clothes right i mean they're using the same cloth that you use for suits on these things and shirts it's not some inexpensive uh, inexpensive just um you know a velcro or just a spandex they throw on there they really try to make it as realistic to the movie as possible and and the, as you can see the detail even in the jacket that they have uh they don't skimp out and uh they're they're fairly posed they're pretty poseable sometimes the jacket because the material restricts how much you can do with them but um, they they can go into a lot of poses, so that's why so many people like them versus statues. You can move them around every day. There's some people that show every day they move them just a little and they film it, and then it's like stop action. And mm -hmm. over a year, then they'll show the character moving. So it's mm -hmm. pretty neat. And and this one is a really really cool um, Joker. The next for Dean, I think we had something else. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm most excited about, the My Little Pony Pinkie Pie statue. Oh, you know, it's uh, amazing how popular My Little Pony is. 
I was uh, shocked myself to find out how popular it was. <laughs> when you were at the Comic-Con, uh, we had a uh, ticket to the exclusive booth. And one of the first things that sold out was the My Little Pony figures. Um, so apparently a lot of people love My Little Pony. It transcends all ages. Um, you probably don't want to know to what age it cast off at that people are watching My Little Pony. Um, <laughs> and, you know, the, the growing faction of bronies is just amazing to me. I'm, I'm so excited to learn that they're picking up steam. Bronies are, they're being more acceptable. You know, they need to be bought into the fold. Uh, we shouldn't be discriminating against Brody right. any more than anyone else. They, we all right. Talk about that all day. So I've got three awesome looking. Uh, they're Marvel Universe of Variant Seas. The new Marvel Universe of Variant Seas. Variant. I can't say that. Variant series from Bring Arts. They're, uh, this is their first three from the, that they're dropping. They're available for pre-order right now. It's a Square Enix figures, and then these are you know the variant versions. That Iron Iron Man looks really cool. You guys can tell from behind me. I'm a Cap fan, especially when I see something that's uh, like an alternative version, something that looks cool, like some really of my or my Samurai and Zombie Cap. So that one looks amazing. You guys like. All three of those, I'm super excited for this line. Looks great. They're six-inch figures. That's a little expensive for six-inch figures, but you can mm -hmm. tell by the accessories and the the posability that those are going to be really popular. And then I'll close us out on the exclusives with a kind of off track from My Little Pony, but the UFC is launching a line of figures with Jazzware. They're uh, available for pre-order right now at Ringside Collectibles. And then I believe they got former and current champs are the uh, the current figures that they're, uh, they're coming out with in the first wave. Wow. Oh, there they are on the screen. They look pretty cool. You know, you get, get your Conor McGregor if you want. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So I know like wrestling figures is a really popular genre Then you know, has a, a huge market share. So the UFC is trying to get in and uh, get their share of that now. So if you're into them right now, you can get, I think it's the whole set for 140 or you can get them for 24 bucks each. And yeah, it was only a limited time before they started getting action figures be, out there. They're going to be in Walmart in August, but you can pre-order them now if you don't want to do that Walmart hunt to try to get the whole set. That closes that was exclusives. We'll go ahead and move into our next segment. Cats of the week. I'll kick it off and give it to Danny first. All right. If you have 10 hours of your life, you don't even have to use your eyes. You can just close your eyes, listen to the sweet sounds of the Sandman. So Neil Gaiman Sandman is coming to Audible. It is a 10 part. I think it's a 10 part series. And if you listen to this lineup, it is freaking amazing. You have James McAvoy, you have Reese Ahmed, you have Kat Denning, Michael Sheen, Andy Serkis. I mean, this is an amazing cast. I don't know how it's not a animated show. I don't know how it's not a movie, a TV show. It's an Audible exclusive. I don't. I. I. I, I will say I'm not. I'm one of the ones that does not have Audible, does not do audiobooks, but I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna free trial the heck out of audible they may just convert me <laughs> neil gaiman sandman james mcavoy you've done it you've converted me for at least 30 days out of trial on audible for the sandman all right well we're moving right along the secret society of second born royals a movie coming to disney plus so they're having another great movie coming out or at least we hope it's great I know that Tori's not a big fan of their Disney original content, but I think this is going to be a great one. It's a, it's super powered, superhuman abilities. Uh, it's gonna, it's a royal setting, saving the world. What more do you want? Like this is what we enjoy: superpower, saving the world, Disney Plus, great movie. Who knows? Tori is going to give us his honest opinion when it does happen. It's worth a shot. I mean, I'll give it two hours, and then I'll give it a meh. But <laughs> I have high hopes. I wanted more for Artemis Fowl. It's not that. I just wanted more. Well, anyways, check out Secret Society of Secondborn Royals when it does come out. 
pretty soon, coming to a couch near you. <laughs> so next up, we have the Netflix show, The Cursed. So The Cursed, it looks amazing. I don't know if you've seen the trailers to it. It stars Katherine Langford. She is possibly the chosen one. I, we don't know. Uh, it is a retelling of Arthur, uh, Arthur Merlin, Excalibur. Is that what it is? Excalibur? Is that the sword? It's Excalibur. Yeah, yeah. It's, ex it's definitely Excalibur. All right. It's Excalibur. Or, but or, the or, whole or, premise or, is, or, what or, if man. Arthur isn't the chosen one and maybe a woman is? Oh, very yeah. So, um, I, I know that it, it's based off of Frank Miller comic. I don't know if he actually wrote it or, or I, I would think he wrote it. But if you don't know Frank Miller, he is a legend, one of the best uh, Batman stories the dark knight returns the 300 year one so so i wouldn't sleep on it and again they they it's 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 king arthur or not and we don't know and it's netflix i mean all right yeah. i got a couple i i'm super excited to talk to you guys about so first up on july 16th there's a 30 rock reunion on nbc if anybody still has regular television and has NBC, you can check out the 30 Rock reunion, which will be probably on streaming out pretty soon after that. But super exciting. 30 Rock, huge, huge, cool show. You know, the whole cast is coming back. I think um, Parks and Rec did one similar like about a month ago, maybe two months ago. So during the COVID time, people can't generate new shows. They're doing lots of reunion stuff. And then the one I'm super pumped for is Norseman Season 3. Starts on July 22nd. You probably don't know about Norseman. It's a Netflix show. The best way I can describe it is a combination of Vikings mm -hmm. and The Office. That's the best way I can describe it. It's as if not Michael Scott, but more Ricky Gervais. The um, I'm drawing a blank on the original Office. What was his name? Uh, but it's oh, yeah. It's a British show, and it's as if. Michael Scott was a Viking in a village being Michael Scott. And it's a super funny show. It has lots of twists and turns. Who's in charge? Who's not in charge? If they get tacked, who's having sex with who? It's a really cool show. I highly recommend it. Super funny. If you like The Office, if you like British comedies, you got to check out Norseman. And then the big one. What you can watch the shows that Danny pitched while you're waiting for Umbrella Academy 2 to come out because that's the one we're all waiting for. Yes. If you haven't watched Umbrella Academy season one, go out right now to hit pause on this. Go out, watch season one to come back. Amazing show. It's a, a amazing, amazing superhero show. Like funny, twist, turns, drama. It's a great show. I really cannot recommend it enough. Season the two drops on July 31st. So make sure you check it out. Right. Dean, what do you got for us? Oh, I've got, uh, I think we've got Shark Week coming up. Everybody's nah. really excited about Shark Week. I mean, it's Shark Month now. I, uh, we're home. We don't get enough of this one week, really. We need more. So we're going to go with the whole month on National Geographic. Uh, there, I, I'm guessing 24 straight hours a day of sharks in at least 20 hours that will be on a hunt for the megalodon that uh, <laughs> they some people still think exists in the colder waters somewhere i think yeah. uh, i think that's maybe off of the uh, ocean next to hogwarts i don't know all right well that's a good one dean so uh dan what do you got for us so me, I've got a new streaming service coming out. If you haven't watched our episode about streaming wars, you need to go back and watch our episode about streaming wars. But we have a new streaming service come out, right? We've been waiting for NBC to come out with theirs. We've been hearing about it. We've been worried about when the office is going to be leaving and what net it's going to do to Netflix. Well, guess what? <laughs> July 15th is coming. You're going to have shows that you love like The Office, Parks and Rec, 30 Rock, Law & Order, because some people do have a hard fandom to law and order. They do. You know, those great shows are going to be pulling people in. But it's not just the shows you love. We also have a ton of original content that's slated to come out for that. A uh, new show called Brave New World. Psych is getting its se uh, sequel movie. Uh, so a lot of people are looking forward to that. Um, but not just movies. We got some documentaries come out. If you're a NASCAR fan, you know, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s uh, documentary is coming out on that one. Um, Ryan Lockett. His documentary is going to be coming out, but there's also some good kid stuff too. 
new episodes of Curious George, which is going to be the thing in my house. Um, where's Waldo? A DreamWorks animation, right? So there's a lot of new, like all over the place content coming out with some like big titles that everybody loves. So, I mean, they're coming out the door swinging to really contend with Disney Plus and Netflix and the rest of these big streaming services out there. I'm looking forward to it. That's a good lineup, especially coming out of the gates. They got some big shows that everybody's going to want. You know, they're getting pulled from the other streaming services, so they got, like, some ammunition there. And then they're coming right out of the gates with some pretty good content. I know lots of people are talking about Brave New World, and I loved the show Psych. I loved the first movie, you know, when they came back. And then so I'm sure the second movie is going to be great. So I, I would definitely be jumping on board and then checking out that do we know the price point on it? Because I, I, I think I know when we talked about streaming wars, we were like talking about value. Is the is, there's a lot of great stuff, a lot of great content, but do we know the price? It, it's I remember I thought it was cheap, like maybe seventy seven ninety nine, but and it's all right. so that live skits and stuff will be on there too. I think they said that you'll be able to pull up all your every season of Saturday Night Live. Oh yeah. All yeah. right. Well, guys, we obviously had a ton of exclusives, a ton of cool new shows, movies you need to check out. And before we jump out of the den, I want to hand it off to Dean. Dean has an exciting announcement for his company, Legendary Displays. What do you got for us, Dean? Yeah, thank you. Um, we are going to be doing our first contest. Um, I'm hoping to have it out um, Friday, and it's called uh, Show Us Your Grail. Um, everybody in no matter what you collect has got some grail piece that they love. That's their favorite piece. Maybe it's the first thing that got them in or one they're really proud of showing off. And uh, I wanted to be able to show people that you can highlight that. It doesn't have to be even an expensive statue. It can be anything you want. And uh, we're going to have people send pictures of their grail piece to um, our legendary displays, Facebook page and a little uh, reason why that that's their favorite piece and um, at the end of the uh, month we're going to do a live uh, raffle or do a video raffle and someone's going to win our premium which is our large display case with the built-in turntable and an extra light box to put on top of it so they can add more statues to the top if they'd like it's it's a really cool thing and I think people really want to show their stuff off that's why we do it we don't just do it for ourselves we want people to know what we love and i think this is a, a good way everybody's showing off their collection anyways let's let them tell us why that's awesome and then that's, that's a great a segue spot. you guys next episode we're going to be talking collectibles and then those grill pieces so make sure you check out legendarydisplays.com and then Follow them on Facebook. Get, you know, take pictures of that stuff. You guys could win an amazing display case. You could see some of them behind Dean right now. But it's been awesome having you in the Dabble Den. We'll see you guys. Thanks, next thanks for having me. Oh, see you, we'll see you again, Dean. Finger guns. <laughs>